I am Anil Kumar and now let us solve the trigonometric equation in tan and cotangent. The question is solve tan theta plus cot theta equals to 3 where theta is between 0 to 90 degrees. Correct. So in such cases what we can do is we can write this equation which is tan theta plus cot theta equals to 3 in terms of tan. right? So whenever you have an equation try to get one variable in trigonometry that variable will be one of your primary or secondary trigonometric ratio. Prefer to work in primary trigonometric ratios which are sine, tan and cosine. So we can write this as tan theta plus cotangent is 1 over tan theta, right? So 1 over tan theta, we can bring 3 to the left side, so we can minus 3 equals to 0. Now taking or multiplying both sides by tan theta, we get tan square theta plus 1 minus 3 tan theta equals to 0 and if I rearrange it I get a quadratic equation in tan right so so that is what I meant by using tan theta as a variable right so it could have any value so that is the whole concept so we get now a quadratic equation in tan which we can solve using using quadratic formula right because it cannot be factored easily right this is 1 and product of two numbers which is 1 is always just 1 times 1 and adding subtracting them you cannot get minus 3 so let us use the quadratic formula to solve or find the solution kind of solution in tan so so we can say tan theta equals to let me write down here tan theta equals to minus b which is 3 plus minus square root of b square so minus 3 square okay let me write minus 3 minus 4 times a is 1 c is 1 okay that is it so I hope you remember it is minus b plus minus b square minus 4 ac a is 1 b is minus 2 c is 1 divided by 2 times a which is 1 right so in this case a is 1 b is minus 2 and c is 1 correct so let's solve it a bit we get 3 plus minus this is 9 and minus 4 is 5 so we get 3 plus minus 4 over 2 that is what we get and that really gives us two possible values which we can calculate using calculator right so what we will do here is we can find these two values and we'll find theta using tan inverse of these values so what I will do is I'll calculate the value and find tan inverse that is how you should do also so we have 3 plus let me use plus first square root of 5 right so let us say equal to and then we'll divide it by 2 equal to so we get some value which is let me write here okay 3 plus square root of 5 over 2 and I can write 3 minus square root of 5 over 2 this is my 5 and then we do shift tan inverse right of the answer which we just calculated and we get some value and this this is with the plus sign so let me write here 3 plus square root 5 over 2 we get 69.09 which I'll round to 69.1 degrees correct so this is one value of theta the other value of theta will be with this right so we get tan inverse of 3 minus square root 5 over 2 so let's do that now so we will do shift tan inverse and within brackets we have to write 3 so there is a numerator and the denominator so we'll use one more bracket correct so 3 minus square root 5 okay and we'll close this bracket and then divide by 2 and close another bracket to find the answer so that gives us 20.9 correct so that's good so it is 20.9 degrees you see how we have calculated this value I like you to make a note of this so that you can properly use calculator and get the right answers right so these are the two theta values which are within 0 to 90 degrees and they satisfy this equation correct so we get our answer and the answer is the solution of the equation is theta equals to 69.1 degrees and 20.9 degrees so that is how it could be solved 
Now, as an extension, what you can try is if, if, uh, so I'll give you question, question two, where I'm saying that the domain for theta will be from 0 degrees to 360 degrees, okay? Then find all possible solutions. You already know the solutions. Then find other solutions which will fit into this particular question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all.